Randall down the deer stand we just put up. He fought a hell of a battle with it. He conquered it. There's a view of his hunting grounds. Hey, you know what? Maybe I'll tie that rope, huh? Yeah. Bless you. All right, I survived. I'm thirsty. Me too, I got cotton mouth. <clears throat> there I am up in a pallet deer stand. Randall's over about the creek uh, looking for deer sign. There's a little sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Pal. You see, you can see my sand. It's like. I'm not sure it's it. Mm -hmm. And. Right over here. Big. See, there's fresh deer prints in it right uh -huh. there. It's big, but this is more like a community snake. Look right here. Uh -huh. See, they have crossed here before. Quite a bit, it looks like. They take the path of least resistance, just like me and me do. <clears throat> yeah, they're going up right there. And here we have some sort of species of caca. Real good opportunity you know what you gotta do when it comes to here because they stop before they cross and they look to make sure the side's clear. Because yeah, they're going right up here. Randall, do you have any clue what kind of poop this is? Mm -hmm. Oh look, this is the poop log. I would say in the uh, most likely that thing. Down here. There's another nice specimen. This is where they do their business, yeah, is on this log. On the log. There's another pile right there. They poop on logs. A lot of times they'll come down that little draw right there. What I spy over there? It looks like another pile of poop on the end of that log right yeah. there. Hey. <laughs> Go across this log, leave their present, and come back across. Randall is poking in that dookie yeah. with a stick. Well, I missed that. What I want to do is show you what a real time is. It's what boys do out in the woods. They poke at poop piles. Sometimes, if we're lucky enough, find a carcass, you know. Stick stick Turn it over. Mm -hmm. See what runs out. <laughs> yeah. Animal. Yeah. And what's this? And look what Randall found. Baby moose poop. <laughs> Briar goat poop. That's what that is? Yeah. That's poop. Mm -hmm. I thought they were the bigger stuff than that. They do. That's just a small dude. That almost looks like rabbit poop. Yeah. It looks a little like rabbit poop, but that'd be a big rabbit. 
little cocoa puff. Here's a good straight. Come walking up on it. That's an excellent straight. Yep. Just stay back away from it. That was highly active. And, and you know, see how it's underneath low hanging branches? Uh huh. That's pretty typical, too. They're coming right up from here. That is a good straight. It is. I'm going to take a picture. See, this is a real good example of buck activity. Grills on it. ATV. I know that because we caught them last year out here in the West Coast and we ran them off. Let's see if they come up here. Here's one of these things in the north. Right here. Oh, look at that. There's a, that's a decent rub. Oh, that is a, that is an excitingly big rub. Right there. Yeah, that, right there. that is only made by a sizable deer. They don't, the little deer don't pull around, but I'm telling you, I don't know why Gene mm -hmm. doesn't come out here and put his stand right here. So you can barely see the trail here. He stands a lot. So here we are going to the, the other really cool place. The other really cool place. Randall's going to get out of the mud and get in the grass. Here. There. See it? That yep. is a cool stand yeah. too. It is. Hell it is. And all up in here is uh -huh. just deery as hell. Nice. But you're not allowed to hunt here I, on this because you don't have seniority? Well, you know, not opening day, I can't. After oh, that, I can't. Okay. Alright. Look at this view over here. Hang on. Hang on. There is no bottom. Has Randall's pimped out trailer? Look at that. The little red, the little red devil. It is a good little trailer. Look, I put a winch on it. It's the little red. I think you need to wood burn that inside. The little red devil. Red devil. Yeah. Randy's Randall's red devil. Alright, Gander Mountain. Yeah, I got these things off center. These come off the bottom of my ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ceiling fan emblems. And custom winch with it's a briar goat will appreciate this. It's a two rope system, so it's a 1,200 pound winch. Since I got two ropes, it'll 1,200, 2,400 pounds. You know, I guess. Let's go up in here. This is where the first stuff is. Of course, he's pulling it with a Ford. I, you know, that's, I, I, we won't go there. Doesn't look to me like, I mean, it's, the earth isn't disturbed, just the leaves are, I don't know. Here we are in the glory and grandeur of the, uh, the Hoosier Whitetail Habitat. That sounded cedars. cool, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we go up by the cedars, that's where they love to make those rugs. They like to smell like cedar. There's another trail going right there. Cedar's today. pretty sexy. You know, you've probably been in the woods and a little too long and start talking about sexy cedar.
Yes, sir, that's a nice one. It is fresh. Interesting, you don't. Now remember, scrapes are made by both does and bucks, uh -huh. but the rubs are only made by bucks. We're not seeing as much buck activity as I usually see out here. At least not yet. That's okay. Here's the way this works. Where there's does, there's bucks. <laughs> I work for a stand right here. And salt lick. Uh, somebody's dropped him salt lot block there, and there's, there's a big-ass yeah. scrape. I wonder who did that. It wouldn't have been Bob. But that's what happens, though. You can't do it. You can't salt. But that's a nice scrape. But look at it. Again, it's not, it's not being used as much as that dog. It's, look, this whole area is torn. Dude, this is pretty fresh right here. Right there. Yeah, and there's another trail over here. I'll go down that one and come back this way. Now you see this corner up here, this is where Kent, this is where Dean and Caleb will be. And I'm betting. Still on our little post here stand and hanging. Still on our little post here stand hanging scout. This is a on up here. Another one. Now, this is a good rubbing one right here. Thank you. And yeah, this is, this is nice. And there's another one right there. Yeah, yeah. And one right over here. And one right there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Interesting. A lot of buck activity up here. What a surprise they're always there. Because it's, it's just like your shotgun. So load it at what you do. Open it up. There, it's a big bullet. 45-7. We're going to put it directly in the chamber. You don't have to do it that way, but I like to do it that way. We're only going to shoot one shot at a time. Close it back up. Notice how it cocked the hammer. Now, believe it or not, that hammer will fire even when this thing's got no on, with the safety on. But it's got what's called a trigger block comes up. Yep. You put it at half cock like that. Mm -hmm. Now it won't fire even if the safety's on or off. Okay. It's kind of unnerving like that. I'm going to take all right, Aaron's camera. We're going to get a good over the shoulder shot. You don't have to cock it or anything. All right. Theron Miller, 4570. Now pull it up tight against your shoulder, Theron. Get it way up in there. Then you pull back that hammer like I showed you. Nope. Inside of your thumb. Nope. Keep going. Yep. That's right. This is Go ahead. Push it. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot because it'll fire. Whenever you're ready, just pull it in tight. Should I have my cheek so close to it? Is it yeah, you pop? need to put your cheek all the way down on the cone. It's not going to pop up and hit me in the face. No, it right? will not. You're too big of a man for that. That's a loud gun. Ah. Wonder if okay. I it or not. <laughs> Here you go. Walk down. Hit it right here. Can you see it? Right there's where I hit it. That's not bad at all for your first shot. Look at it. <laughs> Yeah, it, that, that's that's part of Bob's. Uh, he understands. Let's try another one. Put a big old hole in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, we know that was your first shot. Here's what I'm gonna do. Stick a piece of paper in there. All right, let's go shoot another one. And then we'll go home. Okay, Theron Miller, standing up. 4570. Remember, you got to pull the you got to pull the trigger back. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, the hammer yeah. back first. I'm just seeing how I like it standing up. Yeah, I think I do. Yep. Then push the safety. Now you're live. Live downrange. <laughs> oh.
It does kick like a 12 gauge gun. <laughs> Honestly, I think. Here you I'm going to do it standing up, but I'm also going to cheat a little bit. Okay, I am live down range. You're going to film this? You are, okay? Well, low there. I think mine were low, low too. Yeah, that's all. Well, it should be shooting low. We're, we're at 40 yards. That's not bad though, huh? Mm -hmm. See, I, I ranged it at 50, and these bullets, this, this 4570 has a rainbow trajectory. It actually raises three and a half inches at 100 yards, and then it goes down four and a half inches at 200 yards. So like a rainbow. So right now I sh we're shooting them about 10 yards shy, so it's shooting a little low. You what? I think I killed a bird. <laughs> well, about an inch to the right and right at the bottom of the red. I think uh, I, I see it too. Kentucky windage did okay. Yeah. Oh, yep. that's yeah. worse. Yeah, exactly. That's worse. But I still could kill a deer with it. Yeah, it would have. Well, you dug a hole back here. Is that what it was? I'm pretty sure that's what <laughs> that is. <laughs> I thought it was a bird. <laughs> that's a big hunk. <laughs> You'll probably, you know what? These are big. Yeah. Hey, I got the slug. Come here. Check it out. <coughs> well, there it is. That's pretty expand. That is very impressive expansion. We can go wash that up. Sure Here. Oh my God! You did good. You did good. Look at that. Again, we're both shooting low, but we would expect that. Right there, you go. Good job, Darren. That's the best shot I've taken so far. That's bang. Yeah.